let's start demo first so this is a application which i have create a web api using the clean architecture template so i have not writing any line of code just create itself by using the template so how we can do that that will learn in this session so it's already create a few uh, endpoint so it's have a contribute a post endpoint so let me execute so once you execute it should be created and also once i get so it should be written all the returning the data and if i want to delete or get by id so it should be written by this id as well as and if i want to delete it should be delete so let me try to delete as well for example three i want to delete so it should be delete and also we are able to update so let me update as well for example I want to update uh, two along with the uh, two the name should be update contributor execute once you update see it is update properly and let me get again the list so that we can make sure it is properly update so execute once you update uh, see it is update right so like this uh, we can get started our implementation so before implementation i'm especially recommend uh, if you first time uh, try to learn clean architecture so go to my channel uh, that is a dot net real world example and go to that playlist section or you know my the video section you will get this clean architecture the full series which i have created one by one session and this session will create a via template but yeah this should be a little complex by the template because they predefine their own package they are you know many things they have to you know apps 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 uh encapsulate actually so that's why it's a little hard to understand but yeah um that will try to understand like how they are creating by the template so first what you have to do go to this github link that is a uh, that is called this github this adly adly's uh, clean architecture and here what you need to do you have to add one package so let me add one package so that package name is this so copy this and go to your uh, command prompt open any command prompt and uh, here I'll just add once you add so it will actually install that package in your system so once you install you will get this clean architecture template in our visual studio or in our uh, application so let me open here so before open what I will do I'll just stop my demo application and close that and uh, open again uh, visual studio and here you have to create a new application go to that search part just search clean once you clean search definitely you will get this template which we just install via this name right steve smith and there is another template over i have already installed but yeah this is another guy that will do uh, upcoming session this will actually little uh, simple and rather than this one so that also will cover in upcoming session what is the difference and how easy to create which one is easy so let me use this one and make it name is clean architecture using template steep smith and uh, let me create a name uh, create once you create so once uh, created definitely it will take some time to restore your packages so because there is a many packages we required so those all will restore and it will load properly so once you load see how many project actually solution is solution and how many project has been created so see this is a web application project which is contain our web api and also it is created a use cases 
and also it is creating a core pack core uh, project and then also infrastructure project so this is a uh, how actually we implement our clean architecture so let me run uh let me rebuild actually first so that we make sure everything is um restored properly so once you succeed that means everything is working fine then just try to uh change your uh, startup project as a web application so i'm just trying to start up startup project as a web application and try to run once you run definitely you will get this uh, error because i have not configured is is express so what i have to do simply i have to change this to our web application project so let me change the web application choose over here and let me run once you run you will get same uh, swagger uh, swagger interface and you will get those are things and similar things we can just try execute it will get it's just created everything it will work right so we already saw like whatever you know endpoint has been created but yeah we have to check like what are the project has been created and how is that flow is going on and what is the flow so see this is my main project means our web application and what are the dependency actually dependent project over there so dependent project see infrastructure project and use cases right these two projects is dependent on our here but it is not direct dependent it is a indirect dependent on this project because we using try to con you know try to talk this web application with the use cases using the mediator r so if you go open this contributor so this is a contributor which we have mentioned all the endpoint so first i'll show you that list endpoint so in this list endpoint see we are using a mediator r and this mediator r talk with our use cases project so it just send our you know list contributor query so if you see where is that list contributor query it will should have in here use cases and go to the list one so here you will get that list query over here and that list query actually call this is a request and in the request also has a handler so that request will comes up and then handler will proceed that further message further request so that way this query actually use that query and also this is a this is a same place we using but this imp implementation somewhere else uh, which will use their own uh, their own actually uh, packages where actually they implement uh, and uh, that's why we don't have a implementation over here but yeah this is a handle actually there itself so they call this interface and directly they have to get the data over here and return back to ui similar what they have done for other for example if i take that create one right so if you take a create uh, endpoint so this create endpoint again it will call this mediator r and this mediator r send to request you know this create command contributor command handler it's again go to your here create one and it's call to this create command contributor and this create command order you know send the data for this you know handler and this handler see again it's just talk with the repository and repository just send it the data and it will handled by the repository so ideally the implementation layer should be outer layer it's not a inner layer so it is just a core layer is a inner layer and outer layer would be your infrastructure layer so that what we have the end of infrastructure layer so let me open in the infrastructure layer we have implementation all the implementation like our db context we have implement our db context repository pattern whatever things we have just implement we have to implement over here right so that's kind of things also seed data also is a uh, queries things and configuration everything we have set up over here right so such kind of things like this way actually it's working also if you see infrastructure layer dependency so it is dependent only with this you know core and use cases right 
so like this actually this is that outer layer if you see that uh, green architecture view so this would be as a outer layer this is outer layer this is outer layer but this is a inner layer actually use cases and it is also you know uh, uh, in uh, in the part of that you know core layer so it will interact only application it do, you know ui does not bother about that what is that implementation that should be handled in the outer layer so like this way actually they have to create it also also they have to create a unit test cases for every project so that's how they actually created let's try to learn so i just given the basic idea how they actually trying to create the all the you know project or uh, no solution and how is working actually so that's now for this session in upcoming session we'll do uh, more uh, for another template so thank you have a nice day and don't forget to subscribe like and share